Hello, my name is Nick. I'm a real estate agent for Zacos Realty here in Sarasota, Florida. If you haven't had a chance to catch some of my other videos, just a little bit about myself. Um, my wife and I moved down to Florida about seven years ago from Ohio, living in various spots along the Gulf Coast before finally settling here in Sarasota. I have a background in both residential and commercial construction, along with property management, which I think can really help bring a unique perspective to the buying process. In this video, we're gonna take a look at a city that is becoming much more popular in the area, which is Englewood. In my opinion, Englewood is one of the best kept secrets in Sarasota area. This is a small, quiet beach community with a relaxed atmosphere, while still offering a ton of things to do for visitors and residents alike. What I think sets Englewood apart from other communities in the Sarasota area is that it's not your typical tourist destination. You'll find that Englewood is a little less saturated with the commercial shops and restaurants, so it has a much more laid back and local vibe. Just a few quick facts about and the history of this area. Englewood is a small community on the Gulf Coast of Florida between Sarasota and Fort Myers and just south of Venice with a population of about 20,000. Uh, people first settled here in the late 1800s, but the area didn't really start to grow until the 60s and 70s with the expansion of Port Charlotte, which is now Northport. It's a pretty typical old Florida town with a lot of homes built in the 60s and 70s, but there are some newer builds here as well. The downtown area has seen a revamping in recent years. West Dearborn Street is really popular with a ton of great shops and seafood joints. Next, let's look at the cost of living and quality of life that Englewood provides. I think the quality of life that residents experience in Englewood is what makes the community really special. If you're looking for a more relaxed vibe away from the hustle and bustle of a big city, you'll love it in Englewood. It's not hard to see why when you can find some of the best beaches in the world here, along with being on some waterways that offer great boating and fishing options. This is a nature lover's paradise. As far as cost of living goes, Englewood is pretty much right on par with the national average and slightly less than most cities in Florida. Because the city is a little more isolated, grocery costs can be more expensive, but I think that's offset by the lower housing costs than other surrounding areas. Moving on to what life is like in some of our favorite places to go in Englewood, you'll find that even though this, it is a relatively small city, there's always something going on or things to do in Englewood. First and foremost, living here gives you access to some of the best beaches around. Um, there's Englewood Beach and Blind Pass Beach. They're great because they're a little less saturated with tourists than some of the other more popular places like Siesta Key. For outdoor enthusiasts, you'll love it here. You have the Cedar Point Environmental Park and Mayaka State Forest right there at your fingertips. There's also a ton of great fishing and boating spots along with miles and miles of hiking and kayak trails. Also, if you enjoy golfing like me, there's some great courses to play here in Englewood as well. The West Dearborn area of Englewood has had a ton of money dumped into a revitalization project recently. It seems like there's always something going on every day here. The Englewood Farmer's Market is held every Thursday from 9 to 1. You'll find live music at Pioneer Plaza or nearby restaurants daily. And the local art scene here is really cool. Some of my favorite places in the area are Lock and Key, which is right across the street from Englewood Beach. They have great surf and turf options. There's Farlow's on the water, which has a really cool vibe and some great Caribbean food specialties. There's also Englewood's on Dearborn. It's a bar and restaurant with live music almost every day of the week. As far as real estate in Englewood goes, like I mentioned before, the housing tends to be a little more affordable. So if you're looking for a more bang for your buck, I would definitely consider starting here. The housing types can vary from 60s and 70s Florida bungalows to newer builds to some old Florida style homes right on the water. So there really is something for everyone here. The median sold price in Englewood is around 370000 That's as of December 2022, which is less than the neighboring cities of Venice Northport, which are around four hundred fifty dollars and 390000 respectively. I think you'll find your typical 3-2 move-in ready home to be in the three hundred dollars to $500,000 range, which is hard to find in most other areas around here. If you're looking for a quiet beach town with relaxed atmosphere and a great outdoor activities to enjoy, Englewood is the place for you. Given the quality of life, proximity to world-class beaches, and the fun local community, the fact that this is one of the most affordable cities for housing in the area is crazy and probably won't last for long. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like more, any more information on the city of Englewood, please let me know. Again, this is Nick with Zacos Realty. Please feel free to reach out anytime. Thank you.